Hello and welcome back. So, so far we're doing very well. We have a login and sign up, but we have a slight problem. If we try to sign up a new user with uh, the same email, it's going to accept. So if I go here and check this out, you see that the, this is the email I have here. So let me just make a copy. And if I tried, let me log out here for a second, go to the sign up page. Okay. And I tried to log in here. This is going to work just fine. Uh, something like this. Password. Mm -hmm. But I don't want this to actually work. So let me put password two here. And if I try this, of course, I get passwords do not match as a deterrent for now. But I want here where I'm checking for the email. So I'm already checking to see if the email is empty and if it's a valid email. But then I could also check if the email exists like so. So check if email exists. Now, this is a very easy thing to do because we've already set up all the groundwork here. And so this is easy peasy. So all I need to do here is let me come back here and do this. So long I get a result, then I know that uh, things are working. So all I need to do is say this and then say where, like so, and then say email and then add this item here, like so. So this, like that. So this will return something or it will return false. So if it returns false, I'll put an exclamation point. If not, uh, oh wait, if it does return something, that's when it's, it's bad. So if it returns an email, then that email is already in use like that okay pretty cool so if I come back here and try this again that email is already in use it's as simple as that okay this is the beauty of building a very powerful uh, MVC system because everything becomes very easy to do after the hard work of connecting all this together. So easy like that. Now that we have that, we cannot add uh, another user like this. So let's add just a different user, Mary Perry. This one will also be a uh, super, uh, super admin, uh, female, yes. Let's try Mary at uh, yahoo.com. And uh, yes, let's add this user. And we've added that user. So let's say Mary at yahoo.com. Let's put the password and log in. So you see now we logged in as Mary. Very cool. Okay, so let's change just a few things at the top here. Now, the things we're going to be doing here, uh, just creating schools, creating classes, adding lecturers and uh, school staff, and then giving tests to students and displaying the results. That's it. So let me change this a little bit here. Um, let me go to the nav view. I want to just change copy these classes over here and put it right above there. Um, this one will change to staff because these are staff members. And then we'll add one more here that is students. And then this one is schools. Okay. This makes more sense. Very good. So we'll have a list of schools. We have the staff members for that school. 
who are the students for that school, who have classes in that school, and uh, tests for that school. Okay, so uh, this is good. So I will click on stuff, which is users, really. And let's add what we can add. So let me close all the files here, too many files open here. And I'm going to go to, um, let's see, the home page. And I'm going to copy all this. Now, if I go back to the logout, you see that I forgot to comment this properly. So I'll say logout controller. And then I want to create a new controller, paste there, and change this to uh, users. Okay, so users controller. And do that as well here. Users.php save. Okay, so even here we will get a file called users. The rows will be there. That's okay. We are finding all anyway from users. So this is fine. So users is go to new user, redirect login. So everything here remains the same. Uh, and rows there. Very cool. Okay, so once we are done with this, all we need now is a view down here. Uh, the home view is like this. So let me just copy all of this from the home view. Right click on views, paste that, save this as users.view.php. Okay, so we have the nav header footer container. But there's a profile view here that I already did what I needed to do on the container. So I can easily copy this and the crumbs as well. We're going to deal with that. So I'll remove this, come back to user.php, paste it on the fluid container like this. Okay, very good. So if I now refresh, page not found. Wait a minute. Oh, this is user. So re rename to users. Okay, that should sort the problem out. We should we, we really should find a, pay, a better page not found view. Okay, so here we want to see all the staff members that are here. Now, Bootstrap comes in handy here. Let's go to where it says card. Yes, so we can look for a nice card. I do like these. We can use this for users display. Uh, yeah, view details, uh, the name. I think I kind of like this one. It's nice and uh, simple, but you can go more elaborate. You can, I do use this one sometimes, this one, this long one here, and just delete what I don't need. But for now, I think uh, we need something simple, just a button to click to go to the profile and then uh, slight details, the username and uh, the rank here so this is good we'll copy that let's come back to our page and uh, i will paste this here like a this okay like so now i want this to be the max width so max width 18 uh, I think let me do minimum width as well with the same thing so that it stays the same. Yeah, let's see what that does. So refresh and there we go. That's a card, but uh, it doesn't look so good because there's no image here. So what I want to do is get the image. We did have an image thingy here and I will copy this from the profile page where we just have the image and replace, but not replace completely. I'll paste here so that I can still see the styles. Width, I don't need to deal with the width here because it's automatic. All I need is to make sure that I have the alt uh, for SEO and I have the correct class. So I'll just do this, move this class into here just leave a space there then i can get rid of this guy okay pretty cool one. back here let's refresh and there we go now i don't want it to be rounded at all so let's remove the rounded thing here. 
rounded circle out. I don't need the border either, so anything border out. I don't need to add this D block either out. The auto actually, actually, I don't need any of these tiles at all. So refresh, and there we go. This is uh, just fine. I have a bracket there which I think is lost right there. So let me change this from 18. I think that's a little bit too big to 14 rems. Okay, very good. Now down here, instead of all this text, we just want to see the uh, rank of uh, this user. Okay, let's back here, refresh. So pretty uh, simple enough, name and then the rank, and then go somewhere. We can change this uh, profile. So we can just say uh, details. That's entirely up to you. Profile. Yes. If you wanted a title on this card, it's very simple. It's just card title. You just put a div here. There's a class called card title, I think, like this. And then you can put something like uh, this is a user profile, like so. And it will show up very nicely. Apparently, I don't remember the uh, the correct name, it's card title. So why isn't it working for me? It looks like I got it right, no? Card title, yes, I did. But maybe it's not the correct thing. What I want is this. That's a card header, not title. So my, my bad, card header. So there's a header and you can add a footer as well. They look pretty good. So yeah, user profile, you can add a footer here as well for extra stuff, but we don't need it for our purposes. So here, what I want to do is loop through here, loop through this stuff. So if I go down here and uh, duplicate this, come back here and refresh, you see that it goes down here first of all. Now I need a little bit of a margin between the two. So here in the class, I will add a small margin M one should be good enough. Let's refresh. Eh, maybe too small. Let's put two. And then for me to have them go on the opposite side, I'll say div. I'll create an extra div here. And obviously, I just need to duplicate this. Push this in. Then this one, I'll give it a class of card group, like so. So once I do this, it should move to the other side, like so. And if I want to put them in the center, I'll say justify content uh, center. So if I want them on the left, I'll say start. On the right, I'll say end. But in the middle, it's center. And there they go, in the center. I do love these guys with shadows, so I'll put shadow here, simple shadow like so and there we go maybe not so good but yeah you get the idea you can remove what you want maybe let me put shadow small like this just a small shadow yeah something like that okay so pretty good now let's add some actual content here real quick so i want to loop through these guys i just want one of these so here I would just say for each, so put a PHP tag and say for each, like so, and say rows, and this will end with row. And But I don't want it to be like this, so I'll close this tag, like so, and close that here as well. And then do the same thing here. And for each. Okay, like that. So this is a loop. So I've only put one. If it's really reading the information, they'll still remain two. That's good. It means everything is working well. So let me copy this. And right here, I want to put first name and last name. So I'll do this. Equals first name. Close that. And then copy that. Duplicate it. Leave a space. Paste and last name. 
and then this is profile that's fine i'll paste here and say rank instead like this and then come back here and refresh okay so we see actual data here now i don't want to have to see that thing in the middle so i'll do a string replace the string is the underscore and i want to replace that with a space and uh, this is not what i wanted it's string replace and remove this put that there okay good that should work so super admin yeah very very nice okay so at least now if we click on stuff we see this stuff student nothing uh, here nothing schools nothing but at least here we have the staff members so we're going to continue with this and so that when you click on here we go to the profile we see an actual image upload images blah 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 see you in the next